The next state we want to create is our chase until dead state. And for this, we will need chase and attack actions, right? This is gonna be our chase chaser state. So the chase action is really simple, so let's create that first. So we're gonna create a new C Sharp script, which is going to be called chase action. And we're gonna open it for editing. And this is also gonna inherit from action. And we're also going to create an asset of it. So we're gonna use create asset menu, menu name equals pluggable AI actions chase. And we can delete start and update. And chase is gonna override act. It's gonna return void. It's gonna override act. Actually, there's a way to do this. I just, yeah. I just learned you could do this. You make a space after override and it'll just fill in and add this exception for you. It's kind of nice. Check, let me, let me declare it first. Uh, this is gonna be a private function that returns void called chase, takes a state controller, and we're gonna call this from here. Pass in the controller as we do. And in chase, we are going to do the following. We're gonna set controller dot nav mesh agent dot destination to equal controller dot chase target dot position. So every frame we're gonna update our destination to be the position of our target. And we're gonna call controller dot nav mesh agent dot resume. So we're gonna start moving again or continue moving if we already are. And that gives us our action for chase. It's that simple. Uh, the next thing we need is a decision for when to stop chasing. Um, and so we're going to cheat our AI a little bit here and give our AI sort of unfair knowledge of when the target is alive or dead. Uh, our second AI is going to be more fair. It's going to use line of sight. But just to keep this simple, uh, we're going to make an active state decision. So let's save this chase action. Did I change anything else? Save all these just to be sure because I keep getting messed up by that. Okay. We're going to return to Unity, and we're going to create a new script called Active State Decision. And delete start and update. Active State Decision is going to inherit from Decision, and it's going to, we're going to create assets from it, or create an asset of it. So this is going to be Pluggable AI, decisions, active state. Okay. Now, in our active state decision, we are going to override decide. And we are going to check each update the active state of our controller's chase target. Now, because this is so simple, I'm not going to add a second check active state function. I'm just going to say bool chase target is active active equals controller dot chase target dot game object dot active self. And then return chase target is active. You could make it more compact if you want. That's the way I chose to do it. Okay. So save that. That's super simple. And return to Unity. So let's now set up our chase chaser state. So it is going to have, for now, one action. We're actually gonna add an attack action in a minute. But for now, it's going to have a chase action. So we've got a slot for it. We need to create a action for it. Select our actions folder, create, pluggable AI, actions, chase. Call it chase action. And we need a decision as well. We're gonna create Pluggable AI decisions, active state. And this is going to be active state decision. And go to Chase Chaser, click on the actions. We can now choose from our list of actions. We're gonna choose Chase Action. And in transitions, we're gonna add one. The decision we're making is an active state decision. The true state is gonna be remain in state, right? So if the player is still, or if the target is still alive, 
keep chasing, right? Stay in the chase state. If the target has died, then we are going to return to our patrol chaser state. Now, we don't actually have a way to test this because if the player dies, the round is just going to end. So we're just going to move on to our next step, which is writing our attack script, and then we can test. Before I do that, let me check the chat, and then we'll, we'll continue. Oscar Uza says, I don't get what happens when you have more than one transition and both true state and false state are different are different than remain. Uh, our more complex scanner AI is going to do exactly that, and you'll see it in a moment. Uh, so just hold that thought, and you'll see it. And yes, as uh, Ramus 44 b points out, under normal situations, only one of the true-false pairs would probably be set up to something other than remain in state. So in our scanner, you're going to see that, that they each have one condition that is true that allows them to change state, and the others remain. Um, so yeah. And they're different conditions, right? So Redhawk73 asks, why not, if player out of range, go back to patrol or something? Yeah, like I said, for the chase chaser, this is like the absolute simplest one I could think of because I want to get something working. You see, it's still not working. We still don't have attacking yet, and we're an hour in. So this is the simplest one, and then we're going to do the slightly more complex one, which is adds the third alert scanning state. But you could have any kind of tests you want, right? You could do a listen test or a I feel angry test or a it's raining test, anything, and then have them change states, right? This is really not so much about the implementation in this tanks game and more about this as a system that you could use uh, in a slightly flexible way.